Welcome to Spatial Sunday, a special edition of Spatial Sunday. I want to show you the app I've submitted to the App Store, Faves AVP. I just got the notification that it's in review, so hopefully you'll be able to experience it soon if you have an Apple Vision Pro. So let's learn together and let's get spatial. So let me show you why I built Phase AVP. I'm very solution driven, not just building an app to put an app in the App Store, but here we start on the home screen, which has all of your Apple ecosystem apps. Next, to get to any other apps, it's an alphabetical list. So you can see here we have A's, we have C, here's E, I. So the, as many apps as you have, you have to continuously scroll and try to find your app. There's no way. And if you look on the left side, there's people and environments. For iPad apps, you will come back to the home screen, select on compatible apps, and the same thing here. You would scroll to find the app that you needed to open. You could also say, hey Siri, open up Zillow. And it does that. But you would have to remember all of the apps that you constantly use. So that's the reason I built Phase AVP. So let's dive into it. Welcome to Fave's AVP. You can see here is your screen to store all of your Fave apps that you love. At the top, you can see the time, the date, and the battery percentage. You can see our interactive logo. If you select it, you can actually contact us or suggest a Fave for us to add. To get started, on the left side, you can see there's Essentials, Productivity, Entertainment, and Info. Let's start at Info. Info gives you an overall view of what the app is. You also have three videos that you can watch to install a Vision Pro app, an iPhone or iPad app, or to simply launch a fave website. If we go back to Essentials, let's get started by adding some different apps. If we go, we could add any apps we want. There is a robust list of apps here that you can see everything from sports to social media, to financial information, to travel information, to things like offer up let's just add a couple different ones some popular ones let's add in netflix let's add in copilot let's add in chat gpt if you select a fave you can see it'll tell you if it's a vision pro app a website or an ipad app safari is a vision pro app I could select launch, go back, or remove. I'm gonna select launch. You can see it launches that fave. I could also position this wherever I want. Netflix is also a website because they do not have a compatible app. If I select it, <coughs> I can move that there. If I select Copilot, Copilot is an iPad compatible app. If I launch it, it's not installed on my machine, so it takes me to the screen where where I can actually read through the reviews, and I also can simply install it by selecting up here. With it installed, I can select open, allow, allow, and now we have Copilot here. If I wanted to launch ChatGPT, the same thing. I could download that app very easily. And with it downloaded, again, it takes you to the App Store. Next time I launch it, it's an iPad app. I simply come to open and I can have ChatGPT here. So let's say these were my essential apps. I wanted to add some productivity apps. I'm gonna come here and let's add in something like OneNote. We can add Edge. Let's add in OneNote. Let's add in Zoom. And let's add in WebEx. Maybe AWS Cloud. 
Once again, I can select launch. This is an iPad app. And you can see Microsoft Edge is currently installed on my device so I can easily launch it. If I select Zoom, it's a Vision Pro app. I select it. Zoom is not installed, so it takes me directly to the App Store. I install it. I can open it from here. And you can see Zoom is now here. But if I close Zoom, the next time I go to my fave and I select launch, you can see Zoom opens up here. WebEx, if I select WebEx, it's a Vision Pro app. I select that, it takes me to the App Store. I simply download it. The next time I simply launch it. And now I have WebEx here. I have my Netflix here. I have my Microsoft Edge browser here. Not now. Confirm. No thanks. Up here I have ChatGPT. Over here I have Copilot. Here I have Zoom. Let's say I wanted OneNote. It's an iPad app. I'll launch it. it. Takes me to download it to the App Store. Launch it. Here is my one nut. So you can see very easy how you could do that. Let's say I wanted to go to entertainment. Right now I have zero entertainment. As you add entertainment, you can see. So let's come down. Let's add in Netflix. Let's add in some more things like Sling. Let's add in some more stuff. Maybe I want to do Amazon Prime Video, Apple TV. I want some more stuff. Maybe I want to do Venmo. And let's add in YouTube. Maybe I want to add in some social media stuff. Maybe I'll add in TikTok. Let's add in Pinterest. So we can launch some of our entertainment phase. I'm going to select Netflix. It's a website because it doesn't have a compatible app. I'm going to select that. Netflix is already there. Sling is an iPad app. If I select that, it launches to the App Store. I simply download it and the next time I launch that sling will like to send you modifications I'm going to allow that here is my wow so here is my sling let's say I want a prime video it's an iPad app I already have that installed so you can see it launches Apple TV Venmo Venmo launches YouTube is a website there is my Safari browser there so you could see it launches in the website TikTok is an app so it's a Vision Pro app. I'm gonna launch it. It opens up the App Store. I can download that app. I can open it there. Or the next time, if I select it, launch. Here is TikTok ready for me to launch. Let's do Pinterest. You can see it'll take me to the store and I can launch that.
and let's do let's do some financial information so I'm gonna go back to productivity if I wanted to launch AWS I can open up that it's an iPad app PayPal. It's an iPad app. I already have it installed. I click launch and PayPal opens up in front of me. Cash app is a website. So if you click launch, you can see it launches over here. So with all of these apps all around me in Joshua Tree, I can also come out of the world and now in my real world I still have all of my faves everywhere in my actual space so this has been a quick video to show you my app my faves I hope it makes you more productive in a spatial environment. AR is going to change the world. Everyone can learn, so let's create a diverse group of Immersioneers. Learn more about Vision OS or Lightship by subscribing, liking, and sharing today.